Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is uh, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. this turns on Jim yeah Christian Eriksen he's super accurate with both feet Peter and able to deliver a cross or a through ball with just the perfect bend or indeed weight all this allied to great awareness and vision which make him a massive creative talent what I really like about Eriksen though is that he's got the energy and the determination to keep going for 90 minutes every game he's a trier yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much Got things on the way. Receives it from behind. Goes for the cross. And the volley. An early chance there. First of the game. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. Ball. Who's going to get that? Ericsson has a pop! His reputation is better than what we've just seen. to the flank forward it goes Keep defending albeit from an unexpected source you have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing Thus! a great save real class oh that's a sparkling save absolutely sparkling his reflexes were ultra sharp Straight through to the keeper. <laughs> Let down by a lack of accuracy. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Plays it out to the wing. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Delaney. And it's Vass. He's had a go! An absolute thunderbolt! He's got himself a peach 
of a goal. And can Mark score first? The contact was crisp and clean. That was just a rocket. Is it just me, or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plump. So we have our breakthrough. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Tries to get it forward quickly. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. It's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Hoists it forward. He's gone for it! Half an hour played now. it over to the other flank great challenge time to perfection and here's Ericsson over to the left well, the scores only 1-0 but that doesn't tell the full story going through Denmark are ahead here, it has been a good half for them. Into the channel. And he's there to cut it out. Poulsen. of the first half. And here we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front end for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Denmark come in, having established that lead. The game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. Already up and running for the second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Played out to the right. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. And it's played forward. Cleared away. And they're not going to make any further progress now. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. He's got the ball! Oh, shooting chance! Oh, surely that deserved better. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that.
forward it goes. A great shot at goal! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Delaney sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. delivery and all it needed was a touch well look it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header and if you get it slightly wrong then you'll struggle but that was beautifully met it really was so that's two now without reply we're looking at a very different game now the command has been established Commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Balls out on the left now. Gets away from his opponents. Chance! Doesn't get the pass, he's looking... And the shot! And it's hoisted clear. And Eriksson! Just swings wide. That's just plain unlucky. There were many, me included, who thought that was going in. Out to the left it goes. Time and again they are repelled. Tries to get it clear. Look at the goal! Well, it seems obvious that the plan is to, to try and get the passing game going again, but not with that lack of quality. Kiar. Bass. Pumps it into... Up to meet it! And it's blocked! Adventurous run from a defender. Oh, whistle's gone. Now then. No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Chance to deliver a ball into the box. Looking to dink it in. And he ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away.
Well read, he sorted that out. Eriksson. Poulsen. Oh, some tackle that. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Leading by two, and the finishing line in sight. That intervention was very necessary. Well, decisiveness has deserted them, Peter. They need precision, and it's sadly absent. That's not going to make it. it out he's got options out wide so who's he picking out hits one he scores deep deep into injury time Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Finland give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Battles to win it back. Denmark just have to run. And in time is up, and there goes the whistle. Denmark winners by the odd goal. Really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. Would you summarise what we've seen today, then, Jim? Denmark really have a team of the right chemistry, Peter, and it paid off handsomely here. You won't find any test tubes in this bunch. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all...